it's it's been it really has been incredible and you know what people tend to do is we tend to run run away from the very place where our help is Talk. and so <laughs> instead of trusting the lord more we we mm. think we have to trust in uh, something else and uh <sighs> you know run run to him instead of uh, away from him um our hope is, is in him true. so yeah Absolutely. i am I'm so convinced that uh, that too many Christians we have allowed the world to to influence our attitudes and and redefine our faith, and that's I think that's one of the problems we've seen even last year is people have been defined by the circumstances so fear has gripped yes. their hearts instead of faith so defining good. their lives and uh, and that's so so um, so important for us as Christians to to stick to the Bible you know trust in the Word you know. We have a song, the Camerons, when we came to America first in the 60s and 70s, we wrote praise music and God used us to bring the first praise music to America. And one of our choruses was, don't look at the problems, look a little higher, never mind the wind and waves, never mind the fire, Jesus can do miracles, he'll turn the stones to bread, so don't look at your problems, look to God instead. And that's, that's the key Amen. right there. Chuck, when we look to Jesus, he is the author Amen. and what? The finisher Amen. of finisher, our faith. Yeah. So he does, right. he, he begins your faith and he ends your faith. We've just got to have faith in the meantime. And that's where the real that's challenge right. comes. <laughs> that is so that's, true. That's, that's right. That's right. And so many, you know, and, and when, when Jesus fed the 5,000, the disciples, they, their, their, their approach was, well, there's, there's too many people and there's not enough money. Yeah. And then finally one of them said, well, there is a little boy. Maybe you could do something with this Jesus. We don't know, you know. But so often, <laughs> instead of looking at what Jesus can do, we, we look at the size of the problem or oh, the size of the resources. The problem, problem always looks bigger and the resources always look too small. But Jesus is always bigger than both. And, uh, and so, like you said, th there's a miracle in the making. Yeah, yeah. I've discovered uh, an I just want to encourage miracle, if there's pastors, people, yeah. I've always, I've always said that, that, in fact, last night I was talking to the kids. I was watching a cooking program. I love cooking. I don't know why I love cooking programs. And there's a great one on, and it's, it's British chefs, and they're competing, and they end up feeding the queen. That's basically the whole thing. And there's three chefs a week. And yesterday, oh, wow. there was a guy cooking nettles. Nettles. Now, when I was a boy back in Scotland, if you ever fell amongst nettles, you were in big trouble. I mean, there were, it was painful, and you'd have big welts in your arms, and we, we hated ever falling. And this guy was cooking and eating nettles on this program last night. And one of our kids was with me, and I said, let me tell you what I've learned, though, about nettles. In every patch of nettles that we played or we fell amongst by mistake, we would start looking for around, and on the perimeter of the nettles, there was another plant. We call it the Dokken plant. I don't know if that's a proper name for it, but we call it the Dokken plant. And the, the, the leaves were like fine velvet. And if ever you fell amongst nettles and, your, and the welts began to show up on your hands, you would look for the, the, Dokken, net, the, the, the Dokken leaf and you take it and you rub it on the nettle and where, the, where the sting had come in your hand. And the, the leaf, the, do, the doken leaf, n negated the, the sting of the nettle. Oh, wow. And everywhere there was nettles, there was doken leaves. Every time there's a nettle in your life, God has a doken leaf. Beside the bitter pools of Mara, there was a tree. And when Moses put the tree into the water, the Bible says that the waters became sweet. It wasn't neutralized. It went from bitterness, past neutralized, to sweet. And I just want to tell you, you're watching today and you are rubbed raw with your circumstance. And the nettles, you've fallen amongst nettles. Well, listen to me. God has the answer for you. There's a doken leaf somewhere around and if you don't panic and you don't start scratching and you don't start responding and reacting to what's happened to you and you start looking for the answer that's where you'll find the lord jesus